Now to a developing situation with three confirmed cases of coronavirus at the Salinas warming shelter. Tonight we're hearing concerns from people inside who say more needs to be done to stop the spread with this vulnerable population. KION Shannon Longworth is live outside the facility with these worries tonight. Shannon. Well, I and others at KION have heard from several people over the past week who were concerned about more people catching COVID-19 within the facility. They want to remain anonymous for fear of losing their place of residence or their work. With three confirmed cases of COVID-19 at the Salinas warming shelter, multiple people we spoke with say management there is mishandling the situation. And it makes me mad because we're not animals. But we're being treated like animals. This person from inside the shelter wishes to remain anonymous with their voice distorted over fears of retaliation. There's a mix of concerns from a lack of testing to a lack of transparency. Fears that this will lead to more people coming down with COVID-19. We need to get everyone out of the building, put them up somewhere, and clean the building. About 60 people were living at the warming shelter when the first case happened. Clients are now confined to their rooms and wearing masks, which I'm told by people inside was not the case at the beginning early last week. Basically, I thought my family was in danger since the start. In a statement, Community Homeless Solutions, who runs the shelter, says they are, quote, containing the spread through quarantine, isolation, and shelter in place, following health department and CDC guidelines. Despite improvement with enforcement, people inside also want to know why everyone isn't being tested. Community Homeless Solutions tells me testing sites are only available to people showing symptoms. And, quote, we are waiting for further instructions from the Health Department of Monterey County on how to proceed. Health Officer Dr. Moreno said that is the case, and these cases don't mean that everyone was actually exposed. One case in a facility doesn't mean that everybody in the facility is considered a close contact. To be considered a close contact, the health department says someone needs to be within six feet of an infected person for at least 15 minutes. But that goes back to transparency. The anonymous source I spoke with says clients are not being clued in to developments. I reached back out to Community Homeless Solutions after my interview with that source inside the facility. They said, to their knowledge, everyone within the facility has been notified of the three positive COVID-19 cases. In Salinas, Shannon Longworth, KION News Channel 546. All right, Shannon, thank you very much.